what is going on my good people this is your main man ben here and today guys i'm gonna tell you the quest for our audio setup i think for this year has been concluded and i think we found the missing link for the perfect audio that we're trying to achieve and so we shall begin is going on my good people this is your main man ben here guys it's so exciting this is it this will be the final probably in a couple of years or so that you're gonna hear me about pondering about this audio stuff that we're trying to achieve but i think we have conquered at least based on our voice and our style so i think what i found out about this process is that audio is a different beast that you really have to respect that it's not just like for the sake of having audio you're good to go but this is the perfect setup i think for my little studio we're going to talk about the audio technica well i'm not new to the audio technica realm because i have been using the audio technica devices um, their USB microphones, their um, condenser microphones for my past setup. I've used the AT, I would say 2020 for the for that condenser microphone. I have used that. Um, we're using our M40X. This is our main cans for monitoring, uh, editing as well. This is what I use. I like, I like how it sounds and all that stuff. And I think we're going back to where we're more familiar with in for an entry level pro i would say this is an awesome mic man and i'll tell you why so this is going to be like an partial unboxing you should be able to see in the box the manual um the really nice pouch the some kind of leathery pouch but you, inside the pouch you'll see that um, mic holder you can put it in a tripod some o-rings that you put in into the uh I would say the mic stand making it more snug and the pouch themselves and this is our audio technica um, I have put some couple of stuff in here that I think would improve vastly because I would be mainly using this rig for portability on shooting videos maybe on site little short film projects here and there but this would be the main rig that I would be putting into my main camera for shooting and also for YouTube or, or you know, reviewing and all that stuff. But mainly I invested a little bit on a nice shock mount from small rig, which is like a, you know, a regular mount with like, uh, what do you call this? Like four rubbers that hold it, that acts like a shock mount to uh, uh, prevent vibrations. And so um, you can see that this is the main microphone. It's very small, man. This is just under seven inches and this thing though um i have been using for a couple of episodes i just didn't mention it i uh, mainly for that uh, camera gear bag that i got for the entire year 2020 and partially in that road wireless this was the main mic that we've been using and also it comes with this foam nice foam uh simple approach there's no switch there is no high pass filter or so uh, there's no on and off button built like a tank it's solid um, it has this nice i'm not quite sure what do you call this but it really is the real shotgun microphone the first shotgun microphone an xlr that i really like like it like in my voice i have i've tried with a couple of different ones but this is the one that i really like uh, it has that richness in it it has that nice lows and you'll appreciate it more but Enough with the talk and let's switch on this microphone right now. And right now guys, we are using the Audio Technica and this is the unedited version. And you can see that this thing is phenomenal. If you don't see it in the frame, it's at least, uh, I would say four or five inches away from my head. You should see that. Yeah, you see that in the frame. So basically it's right there in the frame. Um, it don't bother me if it shows a little bit, but I can really crop that one. But if we talked about just the plain quality of this, the isolation, the side isolation of this thing is 
crazy crazy like if i tap it on left side right side and in the back of the microphone that is just insane rejection and i must say i'm very very pleased with this shotgun microphone and i think for the price of this one you really cannot not like it i must say this is almost as an entry-level pro shotgun microphone designed because it's so small guys i'm telling you it's designed for mirrorless camera i think it's meant to be used for mirrorless camera more than anything else because under seven inches i would say it's not that big I mean, if you compare it with the tech star that I got, it's it's not that big at all. I mean, if you don't like those uh, syncing process, I paired it to my Ceremonic PAX one and I think it's perfect. Um, it hasn't given me any problems with, you know, um, syncing process. I like it. And it has that very, very low noise. I'm, I'm telling you, you can use this right off the bat. Um, a little bit of processing would probably be much better but overall this is a solid microphone and uh, you don't have to break the bank on this one but but this is what we can afford this is I would say the conclusion for that for that audio setup that we've been looking for once again guys appreciate you watching thank you for tuning in um, if you like to see contents like this don't forget to hit that like button if you have not yet click that subscribe Appreciate you all, man. Always remember, God is good all the time. Peace out.